Welcome back. I've done a bit of changing. I'm ready for some more GeoGuessr. Just got done with my fitness. So, welcome to the episode. Today's episode is a pinpointable world. It is four minutes per round. No idea what special rules are. I heard rumour you can't move, but it doesn't look that way in the rules. So, let's see how pinpointable this world truly is. As ever, if you want to play along, be sure to click the link in the description before I start. And then watch the video after you've done that. If you want to play along in chat because I'm streaming this on Twitch for the first time, you can actually click that link to challenge me as well. Of course, the link will be on Good and Jay Sano's video as well, and probably on Badges as well. But before you watch any of us, be sure to click that link and play with your own as well, if you want to play along, that is. Anyway, let's get into a game. Four minutes around, let's see how good we are at a pinpointable world. So, apparently you can move, which is a good sign. We are at Slagter heading Hjorberg. Nine miles to Hobro. That is Norway. That O is Norway. Hjorberg, Hobro, Hilsum. This looks to be the main road. Doesn't really seem to be a major, major road, but what are we looking for? We're looking for Hobro. Hobro, how are you doing? Hobro and Hilsum. I'm doing a reviewable from which far Let's go down this way, see if we can find anything else. Hannah up. You say 68 to get dead. It was almost certainly Norway. Oh, somebody's got a trampoline. It's almost a suburban in layout, isn't it? It's not. It's a lovely house. Hanrup Sverk. It almost certainly in Hanrup. Yeah, we were definitely in Hanover. Now, where's Hanover? Put a pin in Norway to begin with. Not look to be all too coastal area. Somewhere in the middle of Norway, I'd probably. I've been there for now. Oh, what's it say? That is the way to Brodum. Real some Stenid. Can you get to a bigger road, please? That's not what I meant when I said bigger road. Damn it. Oh, we're not in Norway, we are in Denmark. Hello up. Hello. I think people might get confused by this one actually. It looks so much like Norway. It's clearly Denmark. So what is it I'm looking for? I'm looking for Vilsam Hanover. which looks like it could be. Mm. 
two seconds left. How am I doing? Ah, 22 miles away. I'll take it. How far back is that visible? It's quite visible quite, 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 from a distance as well, so I probably went straight over it without seeing it. But like I say, I'll take 4,800 points. It's a good start. I nearly got hit by the, um, the doorway curse. Let's move on to the next round, shall we? Stop shop. Naginska. We're clearly in Eastern Europe or somewhere. We're in Hungary. Naginska, Norway. Now is that a, a place I can recognise the name of? Ah, Nagi Kanesia. There we are. Now is there a stop shop somewhere here? Stop shop. Muller. And any actually you could go on road and see what it says that you can better here. Any road signs anywhere? I'm heading east. Oh, McDonald's. An Aldi, I thought Aldi earlier. Aldi McDonald's. So the Aldi is to my south right now on this corner of the Aldi. Where is it? Yep. Because coming up that road. From that crossroads. means I'm potentially here. Is that where I started? It's exactly where I started. If I go up here I should come across a car park with three rows. One, two, three. I'm going to make it a guess. Four yards away. I will happily take that. I see what I mean by pinpointable. <laughs> and very annoyingly, that Tomo person, Tomman, actually got four, four points being that far away. But I'll, I'll take it. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Round three. Okay, we're 305, and this way quite possibly is even Norway or, De or Denmark. The signs look Danish again. So I'm going to go to Denmark first of all. What road sign do I want? I want the 305. This matches their numbering system. 191, 81. Five hundreds over here. Uh, three hundreds are over here. Three ten. I want a three o five. It's a three o three. We're looking for low house and rookboying. Rooker boying, as I call it there. 305, 305. There's a 311, that's cursed. 301. I think I'm right neck of woods, so I need closer. Nope. Hmm. 
Wood cubbing. Yes. Yes, three or five. Wood cubbing and low howls. I'm eight to that. 22 to low howls. And low howls is to the north. Which it is. So about verish. What's this way? Stenagged. Yes. Am I there or there? A little bit further south. I've got a white turn with a weird. Is that one or that one? I'm there. If I take this turn here, I should get to on my right. Hyped and vital. Hyped and vital. I'm right on this junction with crossroads here, which means I'm here. I'm on this side of the road. Actually, I'm on this side of the road, so. Um, there. I'm going to make it a guess. I was one yard away. <laughs> ah. I will happily take that point. Ooh, Jacob got it one point off. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? We are now in... We're in a non-UK side of the road place. However, we've got the American... Actually, really bizarre. I think you're nine kilometers. They use kilometers, not miles. Pa. Which language is pi? Castro and Quellian. There's a really bizarre area of the world. Cacao. I know that name. I think we're in South America. Now, which uses the shields and the green numbers. Put pin in Colombia for now. Oh, what's that you up here? Castro. Chi. Castro is a big city, almost certain. But I don't, can't remember where it is. Cacao. Are we in Venezuela? They don't have the right type of numbers, annoyingly. It can't be Venezuela. It could be Colombia. Do we have a five in Colombia anywhere? This world is one more point, by the way. Ten. Three, four.
Probably very bugger, huh? No? I'm trying to find a five here. The white shape of shield. There does appear to be some kind of numbering order to railroads, but I don't seem to have a five anywhere. Ah! Oh. Yep, yeah, rip me. Like I said, it's right next to the woods, it's just it's a really long continent. Of course, yeah, chilly. Let's move on to the last one, see how I do. Okay. Aeroporto, Autostrata. This is of a certain European, I believe. What do you say? Where'd you go? Basilica? Porto? Portugal, maybe? Spain? Italiano? Possibly Italy? Okay. Yep, yeah, Italy. Definitely in Italy. Coastal Italy as well, interestingly enough. Fiera de Levante. Those are probably just locations nearby. No idea which Italian city this is. I do not think this is Rome. This definitely does not look like Rome to me. I could always be wrong. Well, we're in Naples for now. Apparently, it should be pinpointable from where we start, which is interesting. Be, that's interesting, but the water is to our north east. So 
second. Did I say Palermo? Is there a, um, an airport near here somewhere? That makes more sense, yes. Let's see how we did. I don't think I've beaten this time, but let's see. I got 19,000 points. That's um, slightly below what I aimed for. I tried to get 20,000 per round. Crucially, did I beat Goo? Did I beat JC? No, did I beat Badge? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, they beat me. Damn it. I might have beat Jeff, though. Why are you JC now? Ah, there we are. Yeah. Yeah, it was that um, fourth round which killed me. But I'll take that, two perfects. Uh, looks like... Uh, Finland, Norway, Norway, Norway. Everybody got Norway for a second one, obviously. Uh, that's where Jay Sena lost his points there. The Hungry one, everybody got Hungry. But I'm the only one who got it really close up. They went to sort of capital. I saw the right place on this map. Italy won. Badge and Goud got the right city. Uh, Jay Sano was on the right coast, but too far south. I should have guessed it was the north coast, to be honest, thinking about it, given where the water was. Because the one which really screwed me over. They got Chile. I did not. Oh wow, well, and so well done to every moment Rauk6788 who's caught your top score. See if you can beat them, see if you can beat me. And join me next time when I guess some more. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye bye.